Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Lockdown. It is the morning after the Horde, day 16. And the first thing I want to do is spend these two skill points that we have. So I'm going to put both of them into Intellect Level 7. Because we're on a quest to unlock the Gyrocopter, which is going to require us to get Intellect to Level 10. Alright, first thing I want to do this morning is some repair work. Let's fill in these two blocks right here that were destroyed. And then we'll repair the other columns that took some damage. And then the zombies broke in on the south end of the prison and on the west end of the prison. So we're going to go deal with those two locations. And then right across the street from our prison is a bear den. We're going to go hit that place up and get a couple of bears killed, which will get us testosterone extract, which we can use to craft a cigar, which will give us one point in strength and also better bartering. Let's fill this in. They broke through here as well. I want to fill this entire wall in, but I'll let the zombies break through the bars first. And when they do, we'll fill it in. All right, they also broke through the south end wall right here. I don't know why they broke into this particular prison cell. I'm pretty sure it was just random. Let's repair these blocks and fill this in. You know what I want to do? I want to fill in all of these prison cells with blocks. Uh, this way the wall back here is like, you know, three blocks thick. That should keep them from wanting to break in through the south end of the prison. Let's repair this block, and they also busted a block out right here. Let's fill that in. Now, they broke through the wall right here as well, but what I'm going to do here is knock these two blocks out and then repair everything else, leaving a two-block opening. This way, they can use this as an entryway because I don't want to keep the zombies out of the prison. I want them to come in. That's where our base is. I don't want them beating... Uh, on the walls all over the place. I'd rather give them an entryway. You know, there there is an entryway, two entryways actually, on the northern uh, end of the prison. But some of them chose to beat their way in through the south end and here on the west end. But now with this area opened up, and I also want to open up an area on the east end, hopefully that's where they'll come in instead of continuing to beat on my wall because I really don't want them coming in through the south end that's why I said I want to fill in those prison cells because that's where all of our shit is that's where our main base is I don't want them breaking through that that area so hopefully they'll come in this way Let's drop off these blocks and rebar frames, bring down our knife and bandages. Let's also drop off these resources we're not going to need. I'm bringing 250 plant fiber and one piece of paper because those are the other ingredients we're going to need on top of the testosterone extract to craft a cigar. But before we go over to the bear den though, let's head over to the girls club, check the vending machine because we're all out of rockbuster candy. I could use that because I want to do some mining today as well. Rockbusters, all right. No sugar butts. Big surprise there. Now, the bear den is just right down the road here. We'll hit this place up, get our testosterone, get a cigar crafted, and then we'll do some more looting around town, do some mining, and we'll get home and uh, do some more work down in the mine at the prison. So let's do this shit. We should get some decent loot here as well. On top of uh, the resources we'll get from killing the bears. Bang! Mega crushes, nice. A little bit more coin. I think there's something up there. Purse. Some food, some water. Got some resources in here. Let's deal with the zombies first before we start digging them up. They should be trying to break out of these uh, containers up here. Come on out of there. Where are you at, zombie? Up in the ceiling? Are you up there? Probably. Let's check the toilets real quick. Murky water. Murky water. Alright. Let's get up there. Huh. Not up in the ceiling. Ah. Uh, there he is. Fucking Kenny. Smoking in the boys room. Down he goes. Oh, he passed out on the toilet. <laughs> He'll be fine. 
It's not his first rodeo. What do we got up there? Some food? Oh, another Mega Crush. That's nice. Let's get over here now to the fire escape. Take this thing up to the rooftop. Let's see if we could be sneaky now. Because I'm pretty sure there's some birds, maybe a dog up here. There's one bird. Let's take it out. Bam. Any more? That's the dead one. Oh, here we go. Bam, and I see some zombie feet over there. Alright. Now for the fun part. Once we drop down here, the bears are gonna wake up. I brought the AK with me, as you can see. Now you could use frames, kind of pull your way down there. That works. Uh, let's kill this crawler first. But I'm just going to drop down there and run into the main loot room. Close this door. And now, I'm going to put up a frame in this doorway because I heard bears can get through doorways now. So even with the AK, two bears cornering us in this little room probably means death. So, put a frame right there, upgrade it a couple of times. And just let him have it. Oh, that took more ammo than I expected, but that's okay. Better than getting mauled by bears. Zombie bears at that, which kind of sucks. We don't, we won't get any meat, edible meat, out of this. But that's not why we came here. We came for the testosterone extract. But we'll also get some leather, bones, animal fat, and rotten flesh as well, which we can use to make, uh, you know, crop farm plots if we were ever to make a farm, which probably will... Never happen, unless I do make that Farmer Glock series, which I've talked about in the past. And hey, I still might do that. All right. We got more than we needed right there. We only need one testosterone extract to make this cigar. Let's go ahead and get it crafting. And it's going to take a little over four minutes. We'll let that work while we finish looting this place. I don't know if there's anything behind this picture. Come on. Nope. All right. There is some stuff behind the bar over here, though, and stuff in the ceiling, I believe. There's a purse right here. Let's pop this open. Some shotgun shells. And I don't know if there's anything up here, is there? No. Oh, god damn it! I was going too fast! I put the cornmeal in our inventory, shit. We're tainted now. I've just screwed us. That's a bad omen. The rest of the day is fucked now. More food and water. Some ammo. Coffee and more rotten flesh. Some 9mm and a, a handle mod. Alright. See what we got in here. Eh, not bad. Not the greatest loot. But again, we really came here so we were able to craft that cigar, which again gives us one point towards strength and it also gives us a bit better bartering. Let's get the hell out of here now and uh, find somewhere else to loot. We still got plenty of time in the day. Alright, I'm pretty sure this area of the town over here to the southwest gets a bit more industrial. And I'd like to go for something like, uh, the Navisgain Creamery. Or, what's that other place? Um, the Waterworks. I know I've seen one of those around here. Bam! Right here. Alright. This is a good place to loot, and we haven't done Waterworks in a while. Drink this coffee. We'll eat some of this food too, so we can squeeze in this other stuff. There we go. And this iron. And that's good. 
Let's put the cigar in our mouth. Scrap the bandana. I can put the cloth back in the bike. Because there's already cloth in there, and we can get started. Get up this ladder. Some trash and cement, which we're going to take. Some more cement up here and a water tower. I believe there's actually a crate in this water tower, if I remember correctly. So let's double check. I know there's water inside of it. There should be a crate as well, and there is. It's a working stiff tools crate. Eh. Nothing crazy. Uh, we already read the dart trap schematic, so I'm going to read that again, and I'm going to scrap the steel axe for the steel tool parts, since we have a level 2 battle axe. We need a steel pickaxe, is what we need, and I'm sure I have enough steel tool parts to craft one, we just need to find the schematic first. That's some lead, gunpowder. There's a lot of trash laying around, but you can never know what you can find in trash. It's a backpack over there. I think we can make this jump. There we go. Empty can. Totally worth it. Whole bunch more trash laying around down here. Oh, seven things of oil. See? Hunter's journal, which we already read. Blue and lead. I'll take the wood. I'm good on the blueberry seeds. Some flesh. More gum powder. Read this journal. I know we could sell it. But, uh, whatever. There's a lot of loot in this place, so I don't need that taking up inventory space. More glue. We got some cloth. We can turn that into duct tape. Level 5 hood and some boots. Goth boots. Probably scrap most of all this shit. Agility goggles and brass. Let's see. Scrap the boots. I'm gonna hold on to the goggles. I'll scrap the brass. And what does this hood sell for? 42. We'll scrap that as well. That'll give us some cloth, so if we want to make duct tape out of that glue, we can. Let's scrap this stuff, too. And I mean, you don't want to turn all of your glue into duct tape, because glue also serves a purpose, but you can always make more glue using bones and murky water. Little janitor's closet right here. Some gum powder. Nothing. Let's pop into this uh, working stiff tools crate. Ooh, level 4 hammer and a level 3 steel shovel. I know I scrapped a steel shovel in one of the previous episodes. Not going to do it this time. It is better than the level 4 iron, so I'm going to take the modifier out of the level 4. Put it in the level 3 steel. And we're going to work with this. I'm also going to bring the level 4 hammer down because we currently are using a level 3. And we'll sell the level 3 hammer and the level 4 iron shovel. Now, this is not the way to go, but there is some stuff out here. Including a dog. Close that door. Let's let the dog have the AK. Where's it at? Oh, stuck under there, poor guy. Hey, lady. What are you fucking living in here? Well, there's your eviction notice. Man, she didn't have shit. Now I feel bad. Eh, knuckle schematic. Some oil. Alright, I'm gonna scrap this chair for the iron. And I think that's pretty much it for out here. There might be uh, something hidden in the... Uh, it's like a big water tank over here. There might be... Uh, I think there's something in there, like a backpack or something. We could drop some stuff off at the bike while we're here. Yep, just a glass jar. As a matter of fact, glass jar... My glass jars are in the bike. Let's go grab them and fill them up with murky water. Okay, this is the way to go, right? Because we came in from this way. 
That's the janitor's closet. Yeah. This is the way to go. Close this big ass heavy door. And we got a runner. Alrighty, let's keep it moving now. I believe that's it for in here. Oh, waking the zombies up in this room. Where are they at? It's a lot of landmines in this room. You gotta be careful. Are they all in the water, the zombies? I think they are. Let's grab this trash real quick. Nothing. Yeah, they're beating on this wall. Nothing. Alright, let's have a look. Try not to step on any landmines. We'll jump across here. There they are. Oh, well, we might as well take them out, right? Now, I don't believe there's any loot down in the water there. So, we'll just go. Oh, shit. Alright. Let's try that again. Son of a bitch. Oh, you all right? It sounded squishy when you hit the ground. The fun pimp should put in like a breaking or a cracking sound when the zombies hit the floor like that. Uh, is this a plug? I don't remember. Uh, it's a window into the other room where there is a secret crate. And I always forget to, to grab this crate. Um, what? I don't even remember what room that is. Is it the room we were just in? I don't think so. It's not this room, right? No. No, I think we need to push forward to get to the room where that crate is. Here we go. This is the room. Yeah, the crate is up there, so... I'm not gonna forget to grab it this time. I always forget to get up there and, and grab that thing, so... We're gonna get it this time. Let's deal with the zombies first, though. Here we go, secret stash. All right, I'll take it. And we woke up uh, the zombie in this room here. Oh, settle down, lady. Runner. Oh, you're too short. <laughs> Swung right over her head. Damn short people. I'm kidding. My wife is short. I love her for it. I just never try to hit her in the head with a flaming steel club before, you know? If I did, then it would piss me off how short she was. But since I'm not trying to actively kill her, it doesn't bother me as much. Okay, let's check this trash. Nothing. We got some resources around that we'll dig up. I just want to double check this door. I, I believe it just leads right to the room we were just in, and it does, so... Nothing there. Let's grab these resources. What is up here? Is this the way out? What the fuck? I don't think I've ever been up here before. What is this? A way out? Oh, no. There's a little loot stash right here. Look at this. I've never... I've never even known about this little area. Alright, I'll take it. Let's get back... to the uh, main loot room. Which, uh... is right over here. Now that's a nice stash. Oh, shit! Take the shovel, lady! <laughs> get the fuck out of here! There we go. Now, I don't think there's anything over here. There's a hatch, but that just leads down. That's actually an escape hatch in case you fall down this area right here. That shit gives out and you could fall down there and then the zombies could pile on top of you and attack you underwater and all sorts of bad things happen. Some food. Poppin' pills crate. Okay. We're gonna run out of space here. 
we might have to run up to the bike and unload. Steel and a, ooh, a better steel shovel. Yep, out of space. All right, we're going to have to uh, move things around here. All right, I got everything out of these boxes. Let's, uh, you know what? I've got a lock pick in the motorcycle. It's only one, but we might as well try our luck. Because otherwise we're going to have to beat into that thing and it's got 10,000 hit points. There we go. Let's see what else we can shove in there. Oh yeah. That gives us plenty of room to grab whatever loot is inside this hardened chest. What time we're looking at? 18.30? Not bad. Even if we have to beat into this chest, it's not a big deal. We'll still have time to do some mining. Shit. Oh, nice. Another rad remover. Gold and silver and a diamond. All right. Taking all that stuff and let's get out of here. Now, we know there is lead and nitrate powder underneath the base in our mine, so I'm going to go for coal right now if we can find it. Let me take this car apart too. Maybe we'll get lucky and get another engine because I do want to make uh, another mixer or two. Bam! Engine and a battery. There we go. Perfect. Some coal. We'll eat the Rockbuster candy, mine this shit, and then, like I said, we can grab lead and nitrate powder tonight when we do some mining underneath the base, and we'll use the nitrate powder in this coal to craft some more gunpowder. Well, we got a little bit more time left on this Rockbuster candy. Might as well make use of it. So I'm going to do some mining down here now, and then I'll get up there and get all this loot put away and organized. Tomorrow's probably going to be a day where we focus mostly on the base, right? Because I want to get a bunch more concrete crafting tonight, so we'll have some resources we can spend upgrading this place. And then, of course, we'll squeeze in some looting, and then uh, day 18 will be the... The next horde night, so uh, we'll do we'll do our trader run on the day of the horde. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here, unless of course something crazy happens overnight. I, I continue to film at night, and if anything crazy happens, I add it in. Otherwise, I'm gonna cut it here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.